Well, I think it's interesting to see mistakes as well as good things that happen. If you were watching my um, blowing up water video, then at the end of it what I did was a bit of electrolysis in water um, with a, a couple of bolts as a spark gap. And I set that up here, where I put a bit of plumbing fittings on the edge or two edges of a vase, filled it with water and made some carbon rods. This is what happened after one press of the button. The thing basically just blew to pieces. So, uh, pick that out. I mean, maybe I should have made it out of thicker glass. And there we go, there's, there's the remains of it. And that would say, I just pressed the button once and the whole thing exploded. So, I guess, uh, there's my carbon rod attachment. The other carbon rod broke off. I'll go through how to make the carbon rod, um, probably when I get some thicker glass or some polycarbonate, maybe. But that's the result. Ugh. There we go, and there's the other side of the vase. So, pretty much a mess, as it happens. I mean, it's a sort of unqualified disaster. Or rather, a qualified disaster. Because on the one hand, yeah, that is a mess, and that did blow things to pieces. But on the other hand, there's quite some energy in there to blow that to pieces. I mean, what I was going to do... Pick this out, there we go. That is a pipe coming out the top there, and that's where the wires went in. And I was going to collect the gas that came off from that pipe and see if we could actually light it. But I mean, I won't be doing that now until I actually get something better to make this from. So, that's what happens when you don't use thick enough glass. It's the same setup than in the previous video. What a shame.